Amen. My name is Michael Derege Chachana. I came from Rwanda. Brother Michael, welcome. Please tell us the wonderful things that God is doing in your life. Um, today I have testimony and the, the heading of my testimony is the word from the mouth of the prophet. That's the heading of my testimony today. Amen. Thank you. Go ahead. I came from um, Edmonton, as you know, and uh, I was there for two years, you know. So when I came here, um, I came purposely to see Prophet Tom because of what was happening on my life. So when I came here, I found some changes. I found something new that I didn't, um, that was not here when I was here before, right? So the one of that thing was the anointing water. I found um, there is an um, anointing water. But so I came here and I was praying with, with other Christians, uh, with the elders and um, some Christians here. So one day the prophet came and he was uh, praying for us. And he, after praying for us, he gave us um, anointing water. And I was the one. So he gave me anointing water. And uh, I found him in a room, in an office, and uh, I asked him how to use the water. And he showed me, say thank you. So by the way, I took the water as something very special for me. I took it at home. And I decided in my heart, say, I can't use this water for something small. I will use it for something special. Thank you, Brother Michael. Before you continue on there, again, viewers all over the world, for those of you that recall, again, this is Brother Michael who last week, uh, last week gave us a testimony of how he likened himself to Jonah in the Bible because he disobeyed the voice of the prophet when the prophet told him to stay in Hamilton, but he decided to leave and go to Alberta until everything dried up in Alberta and he had no choice but to obey the voice of God and come back to Hamilton. Pour ceux qui sont en train de nous suivre présentement partis dans le monde, nous vous rappelons que notre frère Mike était ici la semaine passée. Il est en train de témoigner la grandeur de Dieu dans sa vie, qu'il venait de Edmonton. Et avant de, venir, de partir à Edmonton, l'homme de Dieu lui avait dit de ne pas partir, mais il a désobéi à la parole de l'homme de Dieu. Il est parti à Edmonton. Et tout ce temps qu'il a passé à Edmonton, il a fait souffrir, souffrir, et régénéré et aujourd'hui il a décidé il avait pris la décision de revenir et obéir la voix de l'homme de Dieu et il est en train de témoigner maintenant par l'obéissance maintenant de la parole de l'homme de Dieu comme c'est dit dans la dans la Bible il est en train de témoigner ce que Dieu a fait dans sa vie par l'obéissance maintenant so now viewers uh, so that now that you understand where brother Michael is coming from where he testifies that he was like Jonah and everything dried up in Alberta but now that he is in Hamilton right away, as he's coming back without, any, uh, without a long time, he's here again before us to witness about the miracles that are starting to happen here in Hamilton. Depuis qu'il est ici, notre frère est en train de vivre le miracle. Il a bien dit qu'il ne savait pas qu'il y avait un eau spécifique, un eau ouin par les prophètes de Dieu qui a béni un lot, un lot divin et si tu utilises cette eau n'est pas ordinaire alors il a dit quand il est arrivé il est, il a entré en communion avec l'homme de Dieu qui lui a donné cette eau spécifique et il va nous dire ce que cette eau a fait dans sa vie Thank you very much brother Michael now that everybody is caught up with your testimony go ahead and continue and tell us what God has been doing for you since you've been back in Hamilton Okay, so I took the water and uh, I said this water is anointed and I was given by the prophet, so I have to use it in special cases. So one day, it was night, uh, I decided to say today I have to spray this water on my body so that um, my intention was to be delivered, anointed and not having bad dreams because uh, I was having bad dreams. Um, um, there's my old brother who passed away, and 
I always dream about him. I was seeing him in my dream. So that day, I said, let me spread this water on my body before I sleep. So this spirit cannot go away from me. So I sprayed the water on my body, the whole body. But I had a disease. I was sick from my ears. For wrong, wrong years. I think I started sick the disease, I think it was 1996. I was thinking maybe it was the, you know, my country, we had a war. So I thought maybe it's because of bombs and, you know, my ears was damaged. So it was itchy inside and it was um, hard and I, I was always want to scratch. But it was inside until the pussy was coming from ears. By the way, I was in trouble. I was not sleeping well. So viewers all over the world, we, here we have Brother Michael standing before us, saying that he, at one evening after he had received this anointing water, and he had kept it for a special time, he by himself wanted to get himself delivered and anointed and stop dreaming of his dead brother. So, and, so he applied the anointing water, and this is what he applied it for, for deliverance, anointing, and to stop dreaming of his dead brother. But at the same time, he had also been suffering with an ear infection sickness since 1996. Pour une bonne compréhension du témoignage, notre frère était en train de faire des cauchemars. À tout le temps qu'il dormait, il pouvait voir des morts. So il rêvait tout le temps de son frère qui est mort. Alors il a pris cette eau bénite qui lui a été donnée par le prophète de Dieu. Il a mis cette eau sur son corps. Il a appliqué sur tout son corps pour ne pas faire le même, le même rêve. Et après ça, mais notre frère était en train de souffrir encore. Il était malade, il ne pouvait pas bien entendre. Son oreille était en train de faire mal et il ne pouvait pas, c'était en train, tout le temps, il était en train de cracher dans son nez. Dans son oreille. Et il a appliqué l'eau bénite encore pour son oreille, pour la guérison de son oreille. C'est ce qu'il est en train de témoigner présentement. Ok, that night, I slept. But as I told you, my intention was just, you know, to get the reverence, anointing, you know, I'm new here in uh, Hamilton from Edmonton so that I can get a job, something like that. So, when I slept for the night, I had a dream. I dreamed. The dream was like this. I was with two men. And I saw that man was treating my ears. But I saw, I was seeing my ear like someone else because the, my ear was in front of me like this do you understand my ears but i can see my ears in front of me so they were just treating me and operating my ears but in front of me by seeing what they are doing and then one of that men was putting cotton in my ear putting cotton inside and just pressing cotton, cotton, cotton inside. So and the, the br others... Brother Michael, so you said uh, you had a vision in which you saw two men and one of the men, and in this vision, your ears were before your own eyes and you saw them operating on your ears. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Notre frère est en train de dire qu'il a fait un rêve. Il est en train de dormir, il a vu une vision. Et dans sa vision, il a vu deux personnes qui étaient en train d'opérer son oreille. Et cette oreille était juste devant lui. Quand ce, ces deux hommes étaient en train d'opérer son oreille, lui, il pouvait suivre tout ce qu'ils étaient en train de faire parce que l'oreille était juste devant lui. Et ces deux hommes, un de eux, était en train de mettre des cotons dans son oreille, mettre des cotons dans son oreille. C'est tout ce qu'il était en train de faire. Et lui pouvait suivre toute l'opération en regardant ce que ces deux hommes étaient en train de faire. Okay, so the other man asked the other one who was just putting the cotton in my ears, say, how are you going to, to remove it? Because I can see 
you are putting inside, inside, inside. And the other one said, no problem. Don't you see? I made it and I put it like tail, like tail, like something, you know. So it's okay, it's okay. It's very easy. I'm going to just pull it and I will move it. So um, I woke up, as you know, and I was just seeing it like something real happening. It was not like a dream, no. It was a real thing happening. Right away, I checked from my ears. But actually, this one was so really sick, this one. I had passed inside. And I was trying every day. When it is itching inside, you know how when something itches from inside, where you cannot reach to scratch, I was finding any way. Doing like this, just pressing here, you know, I, I was in trouble. So right away I was checking, I checked my ears, and I found my ears was healed. Yeah. I was so happy. I was so happy. I was so excited. And my sister was sleeping. I said, I wish I can go and wake up on, on, on her and tell her what happened to me. Okay, I stayed the whole night, but early in the morning, it was about 7, 7, she was preparing a lunch for children to go to school. I said, what happened? Do you know what happened? No, I said, no. I said, I dreamed a dream last night because I sprayed the anointing water that I was given by the prophet Trevor Gun Tom. You know what happened? My ears is healed. I was so happy. <laughs> amen, amen, and amen. Viewers all over the world, here we have our brother Michael who received the anointing water from the prophet of God. And as the word of God says that we know not what to pray for, because when he anointed himself with the anointing water, he was asking for something different. He never asked for healing. He asked for deliverance and other things. But the God that we serve knows the, our needs. And he had a vision in which he was being operated and, uh, in his ears. And when he woke up, he was totally healed. We thank God for your testimony, my brother. Nous voulons dire merci, nous voulons nous réjouir avec notre frère qui est en train de nous dire que dans cette opération, quand il voyait cette vision, ces deux hommes étaient en train de discuter entre eux, l'un était en train de poser la question pour savoir, mais qu'est-ce qui va Nous voyons que l'oreille est, 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 est détachée de cet homme. Qu'est-ce qui va arriver Comment tu vas le remettre Et l'autre a répondu que tout est OK. Je suis en train de faire l'opération et je vais remettre l'oreille. Et le matin, quand il s'est réveillé, il essayait de toucher là où il avait mal à son oreille. Tout était complètement fini. Il était complètement guéri. Notre frère était tellement joyeux. Il est allé rencontrer sa sœur pour témoigner ce qu'il a vu dans son rêve et ce que Dieu a fait dans sa vie. Et depuis lors, notre frère est en bonne santé et son oreille peut entendre et il n'a plus peine. Il est vraiment content de ce que Dieu a fait dans sa vie. Brother Michael, before you give uh, your advice to the world, I see that you are holding a bottle of the anointing water. Could you please hold up that anointing water so that the viewers can uh, take a look at the anointing water? Viewers all over the world, we give God glory for the testimonies that we're receiving for the anointing water that was released on December 31st by the prophet, uh, prophet of God, Prophet Tom Tirivangani. Again, it's not about the water, but we thank God for uh, the, the God of the water, the God in the water, and we are witnessing great miracles by that water that was released by the Prophet of God. Nous voulons dire merci avec tous ceux qui nous suivent de loin pour l'eau que notre frère, l'eau bénite que notre frère a utilisée pour sa guérison. Encore, nous n'avons pas la foi dans l'eau, mais nous avons la foi dans Dieu, les dieux qui est dans l'eau. So, nous prions maintenant que tout le monde qui nous suive avec cette eau bénite, ce n'est pas l'eau qui guérit, mais c'est Dieu qui guérit à travers cette eau qui a été bénie par l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Tom Tiriwangani. Brother, once again, we thank God for your testimony of a God who knows our needs more than we do. Now, what words of advice do you have for viewers all over the world? Quel est le mot de la fin, notre frère, que tu as à dire à tous ceux qui nous suivent de loin et de près ce matin par rapport à ce qui est arrivé dans ta vie? What I can say is we are serving, we are serving God of disciples and prophets. We are serving the God of disciples and prophets. My advice is 
don't think this water can heal. No. But as I told you, the heading of my testimony is the word from the mouth of the prophet. Amina. Amen. Amen. The word from the mouth of the prophet can heal you, can work something. Because um, I think even you, you read your Bible from Second Kings, the man called Naaman. The servant of God, the man of God called Elisha, told, her, told him to go to the Jordan. I think there's many people who crossed the river, who crossed that water, but they didn't get healed. But because the prophet said, go in Jordan, you will get healed, the Naaman get healed. Say amen. Yeah. So, water cannot heal. No. Liver cannot heal. No. But the word from the mouth of the prophet can hear you. Thank you. Viewers all over the world, once again, we thank God for this wonderful testimony. As you can see from our brother's testimony, that many of the ailments that we suffer in the physical are actually a result of something in the spiritual. Because he was suffering from an ear infection physically, but his healing came supernaturally by the use of the anointing water and uh, the prayers. Pour tous ceux qui nous suivent de Rouen, nous voulons vous rassurer ce matin que derrière toute maladie, il y a toujours un esprit derrière. So, derrière tout le problème dans la vie de quelqu'un, il y a toujours un esprit qui est à la base. Et notre frère était malade, il avait mal à l'oreille, mais derrière cette maladie, il y avait un esprit qui le tourmentait, comme il a bien expliqué le problème de, 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 de l'homme de Dieu dans la Bible. Le Naman qui était allé demander la guérison, mais tout le monde pouvait se nager dans cette eau et ne trouvait pas la guérison. Mais quand lui est allé dans cette eau, par ordre du prophète de Dieu, il a trouvé guérison. Par ordre, la parole que le prophète de Dieu a dit à notre frère, il a trouvé la guérison parce que ce qui lui tourmentait n'était pas seulement une maladie physique, mais c'était aussi spirituel. Amen. Thank you, my brother, for your testimony and may you keep strong in the faith. We thank you once again for the testimony. Merci, Amen. merci, merci, Amen. frère Mike, pour ton témoignage, et nous te prions de tenir ferme dans la foi et continuer à être obéissant à toute parole qui sort de la voix du prophète de Dieu. Amen. You are watching Voice of Restoration TV. We are committed to changing lives and changing nation. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Voice of Restoration TV. And remember to make Jesus Christ the standard of your life.